Hey guys, it's Sam. Today I'm doing an update on my A6 rings for May of 2021. It's been a bit since I filmed a video and honestly, I just have not been feeling very social media lately. I've not been posting to Instagram as much. I'm just, I don't know. I think I'm like burnout on all of all of the things. So I am still happy and using my planner. It's working really well for me. This is a newer addition to my ASICS lineup, and I'm pretty sure that that's kind of where it's going to stay. Um, I think I've come to the conclusion that although I really was drawn to all of the beautiful colors of the Filofax, is that I mainly go between black and brown. And so I had the ASICS Vanderspeck Noir, and this is the first time that I have ordered from Vanderspeck directly, and this is a tobacco. So these are both from the Touch Me line that I have, and I really like the durability of this line. I don't worry about throwing it into my bag. That's really important to me personally. When I first experienced this color, it was when I was in personal size still, and at the time I really was like, oh, I prefer the tone of the Filofax Malden and Ochre over it and I was like do I really need two browns and I decided not to keep the Vanderspeck and hang on to the Malden. With the A6 however uh, I just I really love this one. I did order directly like I said when it restocked. I think it was April 28th that they restocked and I requested a piece with a lot of texture and they definitely listened. There's texture on the outside and there is texture on the inside. I do wish that this side was on the front because I just think it's so beautiful, but I do love this piece and I'm really pleased with it. I thought that I would give you a quick comparison if you were considering it because this is, it is brown, but it's more of an orange brown than like a brown brown. So I have a couple of things here to help compare it. Um, this is a Scout from Chic Sparrow. And this is in the golden, like, the, what is that? The golden maverick. I think that's what it, the golden brown. So this is a really warm brown tone, but it has the lighter lightning bolts and um, texture and the variation to it. And it's similar in color to this. I also have a bag that I purchased from Tokyo Pen Shop, Milo, Milu. I'm never completely sure. And this one is like a camel color and also the camel color Sarasa pen, very close to that. So instead of being like a true brown, it's more of an orangish brown. So just to help you out if you were interested in this one. Very little has changed, I would say overall. In the front here, I've switched things up. I was using black and white to go with the black. I'll go back and forth between the brown and the black. But you can see the beautiful texture that's inside of this one. It's got some texture here. Just really, really loving it. I have a photo of me and my husband. Um, I was able to finally switch out my photo. I had been carrying a photo from when we went to San Francisco in 2019. And as of last week, I finally saw the ocean. I'm still very emotional about it, so I, I don't think I'm gonna talk about it much, but I switched to this picture of us on the beach and it's just kind of held in place here with an Aldi clip with the Golden Gate Bridge. Honestly, don't know what I have here. Oh, it's a photo that I have from work um, from a friend's last day. I'm carrying around this photo until I can give it to her in um, here I have absolutely nothing as you can see and back here I just have some stickers that I we picked up at shops from Savannah Georgia which is where we actually stayed when uh, we went to the ocean we stayed in Savannah like downtown that was a wonderful experience and then we were encouraged to drive to Hilton Head on one of the two days and we did that and we really enjoyed it a lot um, here I just have my kind of, I guess, new staple pen. This is a Sharpie S gel and it is in a rose gold or champagne. I'm not sure exactly what it's called officially, but this, I think you can get at Staples, um, Amazon, places like that. But I really like this one. It's just a nicer look to it than the other Sharpie pens. 
and I have swapped it out. It comes with 0.7 gel and I think theirs is really thick and I've swapped it out with a 0.5 gel and I really like that one better. Because it has this, you know, thick ribbing, you can get it in there, but it it's just, it drives me nuts. So I just stick it in here like this and it closes just fine because I don't keep my planners like overly stuffed and it works well for me. It's ironic, however, that I have two pen loops and at this very moment, I'm not using either one, but that's subject to change at any time. This is a dashboard from Martha Plans. I don't believe her shop is currently open. I'm not sure if she's going to be reopening the shop, but I loved this one. Uh, I thought the colors went really well with the planner. And these are kind of like my boho colors that I always am drawn to. So really loving this combination. This section here is not a section. Uh, I did that on purpose because I don't think of a section when I think of like my brain zump section. So I just have some notes of some things I was doing and then a bunch of different papers that are from Peanuts Planner Co, um, Simple and Trendy Co, just different inserts from those shops so that if I need something, it's here for me. I have quite a few of those. These are some like things that you can break up into different columns from Peanuts Planner Co. This is another Peanuts Planner Co. And I just have these ready to go, um, to go into my planner. I do have some new dividers and I ordered these from Caffeine and Paper Plans. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, I'm sure you guys know about it, but these are dividers and I really like how they kind of take up more space and I love the typewriter font. So my sections are the same as they had been. I'm using the monthly from Simple and Trendy Co. I really like that it has the grid in the background so that I have lines to write on. I really enjoy that. I am also using these bottom tabs. These are also from Martha Plans. And this just makes sure that I get to the spot where I need to be within those tabs. This is where I used to in personal size use the clear rulers and go back and forth easily to where I needed to be. So I just have the month marked here and then we have the weekly and these are from Peanuts Planner Co. This is a freebie from the Facebook group and um, my husband has gone in and edited things like font and sizing for me so that it's more the way I want it. I also had the days of the week change so that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are on this side and the rest of the week is on this side. And then I always put things in these same places. So um, labeled those things so I wouldn't have to write them in every week. This has been working well for me. I find that I don't use the weekly pages as much as I used to because I've now added daily to the mix and really enjoying that as well. These are also from Peanuts Planner Co. And I put this one in upside down this morning. I guess I was not fully awake, um, but I really like these because you don't have to pop them in and out of the rings to be able to write here. Um, I've had some errands that I just ran, so I need to go in and fill this out. This section I use to try to just put a little bit of something that happened during the day. And that is helpful when I come back um, if I want to journal. And I had mentioned before that I had stopped journaling, but I was putting like way too much pressure on myself. I think my downfall with journaling began when I started trying to do the whole art journaling thing. And there was like the huge comparison monster and not feeling like enough. And I had kind of had a breakdown about it. And then, you know, last year we had some rough stuff that went down and I was really, really, really depressed. And I just completely stopped journaling altogether. And so I've recently gotten back into it with a lot of help from a friend, which I'm very grateful for because I do enjoy it to an extent, but with a lot less pressure. And it's probably something that I won't be sharing um, anymore just because the pressure of thinking about sharing it shuts me down. And so I would rather just enjoy it for what it is. So the daily section I also have labeled with a tab and then I have multiple days. What I really need to do today is go through, I usually go through and highlight the whole week with my work schedule and 
where I highlight here for the day and then the to do and to buy list. But I was really busy yesterday and didn't get a chance to sit down and do it and I forgot about it today. The next section is health section and it's obviously personal information where I'm just tracking my cycle and any symptoms, things like that. So no need for you guys to see that section. The next section is my trackers section and I honestly have kind of failed at a lot of these lately. Um, this is where the re reoccurring tasks are and some of these things have been done. My husband has done some of them. I haven't asked him about them to go in and check it off. I don't wanna check it off without asking him to verify that it's true. And it's kind of a, it's a, it's a lose right now just because I'm not following through. I also am really stinking at taking care of my online orders, but I will say that I haven't ordered much lately. So really the only major thing I ordered after this was some, one of those things that you see on Facebook for your hair. It's what, lounge, something like that. And I definitely love it. I'll leave a link to the item that I actually purchased. Um, one my son got me for Mother's Day and the other one I purchased for myself. I had a couple of months ago permed my hair and now I'm kind of enjoying straightening it some days and not straightening it other days. And this leaves my hair really soft and healthy looking and I've actually never been happier about a hair product before. Um, so I'm really, <laughs> of all the things that I've ever thought about buying on an ad and backed out or whatever. This is the one I've been most pleased with. This is my book log and then my YouTube section, which nothing has been happening in. The next section is, well, this, not my YouTube section. This is just the little calendar section in my tracker section that I have for YouTube. I used to have a YouTube section, but I don't anymore. This next section is lists, and this is where we were keeping track of things that we were doing with our um, downstairs with some renovations that we were doing. This is some YouTube ideas, some meal ideas, a menu, groceries, which I had been using, but I didn't do the meal planning this week, so I didn't use it. Um, and then here are some sermon notes that I've been taking. Then some extra pages in the back here, things that would be used for lists, and some extra pages after that. I did take, this is like leftovers from when I was making my own dividers um, from the laminator. So I didn't wanna waste that extra bit that hadn't been used. So I punched it and put it in here after I cut it down to size, just to kind of protect things. As you can see, a lot of beautiful texture in the back of this one. And I just have this family photo thing that I made from the Canon selfie that I stuck back here, just something to look at. I have not been using my planner as a wallet planner combination lately. Um, that's probably gonna change with time. In the back here, I just have tucked a few stickers that I use from time to time. I really like the black and white um, stickers a lot. And those are the ones that I go to the most. Um, but I just have them in this, I just have them in this Hobonichi folder. It sticks back here. It's really easy to get to. As you can see, I'm not doing a lot. I use a highlighter to highlight for my days. I'm using very, very, very few stickers and I am really happy with that. My planning really evolved. I ended up getting caught up in the buy this, buy that, try this, try that, and right now I've just completely brought it back to bare bones. I'm not worried about decor. I'm not worried about how it looks. It's just functional for me, and I feel a lot less stress about it. Um, probably the first time that I felt this less stressed about a planner in a while. I think that a lot of it does have to do with not sharing as much to social media. Um, I used to worry about if I was sharing or not and now I'm just like, I don't care <laughs> that much. I really just don't. It doesn't mean I won't be sharing, but I'm just not making it a priority anymore and I'm just trying to live my life. That is my update for my planner for the month of May. I hope that you enjoyed this little flip through. If there is anything you have questions about, Feel free to leave those in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed your time here, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel. Thanks so much as always for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Ish. Bye guys.